I'm self-diagnosed with rabies and it affects all aspects of my life, including my sexuality. <laughs> Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of Tumblr Deep Dive. Today, I have some spicy, spicy content for you. We are talking about the rabies thing. Nobody really knows quite how to sum it up. It's a little different from my other Tumblr deep dive episodes where I looked into a specific tag and had like a huge community of people. The epic tale known as the rabies thing centers mainly around one protagonist, a guy named Spencer who until recently could be found at rabidloving.tumblr.com. In the arms of the angel. This is already ancient um, in terms of internet drama time. Most of it went down about two to three weeks ago. The blog that began it all is currently gone. It was originally deleted by Tumblr and then it was reinstated um, and now it's gone again and it looks like um, the guy who was running it did actually delete it himself this time. He had another blog which he made after the first one was deleted which he has formally left. He's been off Tumblr for like a week to two weeks I believe. If anything, this is a great time to make this video because I think it's pretty safe to say that the story has fully played out at this point. We know we know as much as we ever will about our dear rabies boy. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is one of the posts. Someone sent it to me on Instagram, um, so I'm looking at it here. This is going to be an extremely unpopular opinion, so bear with me. But I don't think children should be vaccinated unless they really absolutely want to be. And if they grow up into adults who still want, don't want to be vaccinated, then so be it. Kids are too young to fully grasp what vaccination does to you. And I don't mean that in a they'll make you autistic and die way. I mean they don't understand I mean they don't understand what they're setting themselves up for in the future. Shots are pretty traumatic for children too, but that's another day. If a child is too young to consent to sex or medical transition if they're trans, they're definitely too young to consent to a vaccination. I haven't had any contact with my family for quite some time now. So I have a hard time knowing my medical history. Because of that, I live with the constant fear that I might have been vaccinated against rabies. It's fucking heartbreaking to know I might never be fully rabid because my parent might have vaccinated me as a child. But I was too young to know, too young to have a say in it. How many other kids are there just like me? How many adults have grown up miserable because they've been vaccinated against their genetic disposition for a certain disease? It's practically eugenics and it makes me sick to my stomach. There are babies right now getting vaxxed because that's what's healthy for them. And their parents have no idea how much grief they're causing right now. So yeah, maybe stop vaxxing your kids. So this version of the post has a bunch of reblogs on it. One person said, when I said I was so desensitized to Tumblr I couldn't be shocked anymore, I didn't mean it as a challenge. This is what the blog looked like at the time. So that was the first post I think that started getting this guy a lot of attention. And we still technically don't know if he was just taking the joke super far or if this guy is actually really mentally ill. Let's delve a little deeper, shall we? Here's my take on the rabies pride flag since the popular one is a joke. <laughs> I like the colors a lot on the old one though, so I reuse them, this time with more meaning slash thought. Here's what it means. Black represents death, something a lot of rabiosexual struggle with the thought of. Gray represents decaying meat and rot, as well as the animal most typically associated with rabies, raccoons. White represents teeth and biting, the white also symbolizes how anyone can be rabiosexual and rabies can affect all genders. Red. Blood, disease, and the transmission of disease. It's like a red tongue since rabies is passed through saliva, while white and red are also placed in such a way that it looks like a set of teeth and the inside of a mouth. Anyone is free to use this as long as they fall within the viral sexual spectrum and or are rabid. My rabies story. I have always had a particular closeness to the concept of rabies and identified as rabioromantic before my diagnosis. I decided for the sake of my mental health, I would become infected. This past year, I met a girl online who was born with rabies and said she could infect me. We met up this past June, excuse the TMI, took part in BDSM sex. She bit me really hard on the shoulder until I bled and I've had rabies ever since. Are you going to infect other people? Not unless they really want to. I currently curb my biting impulses by biting into raw steaks, so I'm fine and safe to be around. I tend to also be attracted to non-rabies people since... It's basically my illness's goal to infect other people. It's only romantic though, not sexual. Okay. So ever since these these posts started getting attention, people have turned the whole rabies thing into a bit of a meme. Rabid loving deactivated and I'm fucking mourning. Honestly, same. You will be missed, rabies boy. Rabies pride stim board. There's just like a raccoon gnawing on someone. That's lovely. Oh, so lovely. And that's the, that's the rabies pride flag. This is the one that was made as a joke, I think, because it's not- the colors aren't the same as the other guy arranged them. So I'm pretty sure that's the incorrect rabies pride flag. 
I saw a post, again, I've, I've had to look through this more than I've ever looked through any other thing for Tumblr Deep Dive because it's just so convoluted. So I saw a post where someone who supports Rabies Boy was bitching about it. Like, you have to use the right Rabies Pride flag because the other one was created as a joke. Rabies Pride icons like a reblog if using. <laughs> They all have rabies. This blog is a joke. Please don't try and get rabies, you fucking idiots. Emoji spell to get rabies soon. Like to charge, reblog to cast. Oh, we've seen these before on my witchcraft Tumblr deep dive. Tumblr, horrible disease. Is this a sexuality? So yeah, then there's these your fave has rabies type blogs. They just kind of Photoshop characters in front of the rabies pride flag and are like, this character has rabies. And they're still not using the right rabies pride flag. God. Okay, rabies safe zone. Please give me rabies, I want to be infected so bad, icon by me, satire. Hey, a general rule on my blog, don't interact if you're a turf. Rabies safe, but not turf safe. That's not how viruses work. Rabies isn't a virus, it's a sexuality slash identity. Welcome to the year of our lord, 2018. Let's delve a little deeper, shall we? So someone started a Twitter to try and document the timeline of the rabies thing. All credit uh, to whoever runs the rabies diaries on Twitter uh, for this little explanation. So here are our key players. Spencer, 19, cis, rabio romantic, gray bisexual, in Canada but US born, allegedly. <laughs> Anthony, Spencer's boyfriend, also wants rabies. Brandon, Spencer's altar, hates rabies. Sweeney, Spencer's altar, not much known about them, known as introject. Clova, Spencer's altar, 14, and likes anime. Altar, I believe, is the term for the alternate personalities of people with dissociative identity disorder. His blog is run by different identities in different intervals, um, so it's a lot. So Spencer has said that back in June of this year he was infected by rabies by a girl biting him. He also said that ever since then he has been rabio-romantic. Now July 25th, Spencer makes his blog implying that he had a more popular blo blog, pre blo <laughs> blog previously. So this blog gets traction after like making a post about rabiosexual slash rabio-romantic stuff. And this is where things start to pop off. So July 27th, Spencer, after being allegedly egged on by Anthony, went into the forest and got bit by a raccoon to get rabies. Apparently Spencer knew this raccoon had rabies and got bit with the help of Anthony. Spencer posted pics and they looked really fake. So I saw these pictures um, before Spencer deleted Rabid Loving. Um, it kind of just looked like a bruise, like some pinkish yellowish kind of stuff. I wasn't really paying attention to how fake it looked. I was just paying attention to how insane it was that he was so excited to finally have rabies from getting bit by a raccoon. Sweeney posts raccoon pics. Most of them are of animals, but there's like two sexy furry raccoons. <laughs> then Clova fronts and is now posting anime gifs. Brandon also says Anthony has exchanged nudes with his neighbor in the cafe. What he claims to work at says that nobody of that name works there. Okay. This is, okay, so, so all of this is very ridiculous and dramatic. Spencer has remade his blog officially as of July 28th under the URL Rabid Loving Remade. Him and Anthony broke up over the phone because Anthony admitted he was cheating on Spencer. Anthony is apparently traveling back to the States and will stay with his parents for a bit. So they, apparently Anthony and Spencer were in Canada, but they're from America. Spencer then states that he most likely won't be active too long because he says the Tumblr isn't good for his mental health. Spencer then answers in a non saying that he didn't intentionally that he didn't intentionally fake rabies, he, he thought he had rabies, and he wasn't trying to be malicious. Anthony and Emily, the original girl who was said to have been born with rabies and given it to Spencer, has lied to him. Spencer then posts to say Anthony has called him and that he's in Maine with his family. So, rabidlovingremade.tumblr.com. This is the end of this blog. Thank you to everyone who has supported me. Please take care. August 2nd, with 228 notes. I have no idea why so many people commented F on this post. So Chad is another of the altars, I think. Someone made a Chad stim board. Um, someone was drawing fan art of the different altars at one point. The calls had been incessant today. It paused for a while, and then once more my phone rang, waking me up from a nap. I gave in to the temptation and picked up the phone. I was hoping it meant it would make it stop. I was met with the voice of Anthony's mom, which was a surprise. She starts to tell me that Anthony has passed away. I'm shocked. I can't, okay, this is starting to read like a bad fan fiction. I'm starting to, to sway to the side of this was probably all an elaborate joke. I can hear her talking to me, but I don't know what she's saying. I just hang up. I've been sitting here for half an hour now. I'm processing. My emotions are bittersweet to say the least. I'll be okay. Anthony's death has made me a little shaken. I have a lot to think about now. Tomorrow I'm calling my uncle goodnight. This is all a lot. Like this is, this is, this is, this is, this, is, this feels like a little, a little much to be a real human. I called my uncle this morning. It took a bit of searching to reach him, but I was finally able to get his number and give him a call. I was really fucking nervous about calling him. 
As I haven't spoken to a single family member in so long, I was mostly just expecting him to hang up on me. We ended up staying on the phone for half an hour. I explained what I've been through in the past year and broke down crying. He was really understanding about it. He said he's going to help me take the steps I need to move back in with him in the States. I feel like I've been through so much in the past week alone. And while I've tried so, so hard to strive for recovery, it's still hard. But for once in a long time, I'm relieved and it feels really great. I really hope everybody reading this takes care of themselves today and knows I wish you the best in life. If Spencer is in fact a real guy, he doesn't sound like that bad of a guy, to be honest. Um, he seems very, very fucked up mental health wise, but he doesn't seem like an, an evil or malicious person. So the title of Rabid Loving Remade currently is A Raccoon Didn't Bite Me, Stop Messaging Me About It. So I'm assuming that this is him admitting that the raccoon bite post was in fact fake. I'm looking through the archive and like all of the Anons, apparently one of the altars like murdered the other ones at some point. And then there's some art that someone did of like reposting my fursona for Anon. Uh, you know, when you draw your fursona holding up a fuck your ex sign when you break up. Hashtag relatable, am I right kids? I hate this stupid fucking website. My blog before this one got terminated because so many of you stupid fucks just had to report me. I'm not even hurting anyone, you absolute doofuses. <laughs> At Rabid Loving 2, can I have your URL ugly or are you just gonna keep pretending you're me? Okay, let's Rabid Loving 2. So yeah, this person has the same av avatar that Rabid Loving had. <laughs> Rabies is valid, you homophobes. No, you homophobias. Wow, okay. We're gonna assume that this one's satire. Love it. Cute Rabies. Hey, can you leave Spencer alone? It's not funny pretending to be him. This whole situation is hilarious. So yeah, this person's kind of just memeing on them um, by taking the URL Rabid Loving 2 and using the same avatar. I mean, what do you expect? Like, of course, like it's Tumblr, it's the internet. Of course someone's gonna do that. But I think what this message that was sent to them shows is that regardless of whether Spencer was a real person, I believe that the people supporting him are real people. <laughs> Which brings me to this right here. Hi, this is a fan blog for Rabid Loving, Nero19 male. Okay, so I made a Discord server. This is for both rabid people and non-rabid people. It's kind of just a get together of the rabies community and people who like my blog, anyone is free to join, help yourself. So they reblogged the, the Chad Stim board. As number one Chad fan, I had to make it. Oh, they made the, no, they made it. They made the Chad Stim board, okay. They also made this other little rabies Stim board, mood board, whatever it's called. Wait, so I'm very confused. Is this really just a joke? Do you actually condone the self-destructive fascination? Did you start this blog as a joke and then find yourself endeared by these people? I don't understand. So they said the third one. So they started this blog as a joke and then found themselves endeared by these people. Hi, um, what the fuck is this shit about? Do you actually think rabies is okay? I'm just wondering. I can and will get rabies. Satire. Okay. I know that this person has said that they're not actually into rabies. They just support the rabies people. So you want to have sex with people who have rabies. Not rabiosexual or romantic, I've said it 50 times, but go off. This user has been banned from the rabies server. <laughs> please, please tell me if this is a joke or not. I'm actually sobbing, why is your art so nice, but you're using it to draw fucking rabies? <laughs> I'm so confused, I'm crying in the club right now. What the fuck is going on? Help me, Jesus. Joke taken too far, now I'm rabies famous. Okay, so this person is joking as well, or was joking at the beginning and is no longer joking, but there are some people out there defending Spencer, whether he's real or not, who were not joking. Everyone is just terrified and fascinated by this situation, essentially. I survived the rabiosexual epidemic of 2018. Fucking relatable. The story of Rabies Boy, aka Spencer, is bad fanfiction tier. And it's probably not true. Regardless of his own realness, there have been at least a few people convinced that his feelings were valid. But there are exponentially more people turning him into a meme. And honestly, it's a pretty good meme. Thank you ever so much for watching. As always, don't forget to follow me on social media if you enjoy my dumb face. And I will see you very soon in another video.